I'm going to be teaching on another interesting topic in chemistry, which is how to determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in an atom and also in an ion. Now, I know you guys might have seen the way elements are arranged in the periodic table. Now, in today's lesson, I'm going to be using sodium and a few other atoms to tackle problems pertaining to this topic. Now, for example, this is the sodium atom. This is the sodium atom, and this is the way it's arranged in the periodic table. Now, if you ask, the lesser number is called the atomic number. The larger number is called the mass number. Now, take note. For a neutral atom, that's an atom without no charge. For a neutral atom, an atom without no charge, the proton number is same as the atomic number. And the neutral number is gotten from the mass number minus the atomic number. Lastly, the electron number for a neutral atom is same as the proton number. Now, if this atom has a charge, it's called an ion. So, it becomes the proton number now for an ion is same as the atomic number. Why the neutral number is still gotten the same way for a neutral atom? By saying the mass number minus the atomic number. But the only difference is the electron number. So for an ion, the electron number equals the proton number minus the charge. Now, for example, you are giving sodium atom as an example. Sodium atom. And they said, calculate the number of protons and the number of neutrons and number of electrons for a sodium atom. Now, you can see this sodium atom has no charge. You can see the sodium atom has no charge, so it's neutral. So, for the proton number for a neutral atom of sodium is same as the atomic number. Now, 11 is the proton number, also called the atomic number. So, the proton number for this sodium atom is 11. While the neutral number is calculated by this formula, you say the mass number minus the atomic number. And this is the mass number. 23 is the mass number, so the neutral number for this sodium, this neutral sodium, is the mass number minus the atomic number. Now, what is the mass number? The mass number is 23, so it becomes 23 minus the atomic number, which is the same as the proton number, which is 11. Now, when you press the calculator, we get 12 as the neutral number. Now, take note for the electron number, since is a neutral atom. The proton number and the electron number equals, so the electron number becomes 11. But now, if this atom has a charge, if this atom has a charge, for example, Na2311 positive, now if this atom has a charge, the proton number doesn't change. So the proton number is still 11, the neutral number still doesn't change. So, the neutral number is still calculated by the mass number minus the atomic number. And the mass number is 23. The atomic number is 11. So, 23 minus 11, getting 12 as the neutral number. Lastly, for the electron number, that's for the electron number for a charged atom. The electron number for a charged atom is the proton number minus the charge. Now, you can see the proton number is. 11 and the charge is positive that's plus one 
So, and the formula says proton over minus charge, so it becomes 11 minus plus 1. And when you do algebra, minus times plus gives us minus. So the electron number becomes 11 minus 1. So therefore, the electron number we get is 10. So we have 10 electrons for a charged atom. So you can see the electron for a charged atom is different from the electron for a neutral atom. We'll go back to the last question for the day. The last question we'll be talking about, we'll be talking about the atom of sulfur. Now please take note, sulfur can be an ion and also the neutral. Now this is the neutral form of sulfur. This is the neutral form of sulfur. And this is the ion for sulfur. Now please note, the mass number The mass number is same as the nuclear number, not the neutron number, but the nuclear number. Take note of this. Now let's move over to this question. Now let's assume we are asked to determine the proton number, the neutron number, and the electron number of these two nuclei. So the proton number is the atomic number of sulfur here. So the proton number becomes 16. Since the proton number and the atomic number are equal, so it's same, 16. Now the neutral number for a neutral atom is what? The mass number minus the atomic number. Now the mass number here is 32, which is 32, and the atomic number is 16. So 32 minus 16, one press the calculator, we get 16 neutrons. Now lastly, for the electron number, since this atom has no charge, the electron number and the proton number are equal, so the electron number and the, the proton number becomes 16. Now let's move over to this ion of sulfur. Now, the proton number doesn't change. The proton number is 16. And the neutron number still doesn't change. The neutron number is gotten from the mass number, which is 32. And the atomic number, which is 16. So it becomes 32 minus 16, making 16 neutrons. Now lastly, the electron number for sulfur will be, since it has a charge, so it has a formula which is the, it has a formula which is the proton number minus charge. Now the proton number for this nuclei is 16, while the charge is negative 2. So since the formula is 16 minus minus negative 2, that's the charge of this nuclear of sulfur. So, one of algebra, we get 16 plus 2, making 18 electrons of this sulfur nuclear. You can see, for algebra, minus times minus become plus. So, it, the electron number is now 16 plus 2, making 18 electrons. <laughs>